assalamu alaikum our uh, today's class is regarding a very important concept of our uh, creatinine clearance and its uses we will learn in this class uses of creatinine clearance to determine the renal function uses of creatinine clearance to determine renal function as you people know about the creatinine it's a by product of the muscles it's a proteinous substances which are produced from the muscles and we check the efficiency of any organ or the concept of our clearance system by using the creatinine and inulin these both muscle by products are basically used to check their values in the two ways one is its presence in the systemic and we will use the word creatinine concentration in systemic circulation and other is creatinine clearance clearance means how much plasma is getting free from the creatinine in a unit time another way how much plasma is getting free from the creatinine in a unit time reversibly in the irreversibly so we will say this is creatinine clearance and its units are milligram uh, ml per minute ml per minute and here in case of creatinine concentration we have the units in the form of milligram per deciliter milligram percent and same we can write the milligram per 100 ml or 10 ml which is equal to 1 deciliter so we will have to write some uh, values re regarding the creatinine concentration we have the creatinine different Uh, creatinine concentrations in our body in case of adult male the creatinine concentration is 8 to 3 mg per liter 8 to 13 mg per liter we will uh, divide this into here in case of male and female first of all we are creatinine concentration it is 8 to 13 mg per liter and when we write in the other units in mg per deciliter these values are 0.8 to 1.3 mg per deciliter and in case of female we have the cons concentrations 6 to 10 mg per liter and in case of units of milligram per deciliter 6 to 1 milligram per deciliter creatinine concentrations which are present in our systemic circulation okay uh, what about the creatinine clearance we will also divide into both genders male and female then the concentrations in case of male is 120 plus minus 20 ml per minute 120 plus minus 20 ml per minute and in case of female this concentration is little bit less 108 plus minus 20 ml per minute what we are studying we are studying the concept of creatinine and its uses 
why we are using you are, uh, I want to understand this concept because this will give us the idea about the clearance if the creatinine concentration is normal in the range of the patients then we will assume that our renal function is properly working and if there is a, some increase in the concentration of creatinine in our body in the patient's body then we will assume that our kidneys or the renal process is not working properly because the required amount is not clearing from the kidneys and in case of other way when we say there is a increase in the concentration in the uh, clearance of the uh, of the creatinine or the decrease in the clearance of the creatinine so we will assume that our body is not working properly and we will have to adjust the doses of the drug there are so many drugs which are which should be adjusted when we are found the uh, some type of the differences in the creatinine values or the creatinine clearance and in our calculations we will write the body surface area and this body surface area in our formulas will be uh, 1.73 meters square and uh, we will use a word nomogram nomograms two types will will we will studies for the determination of the this uh, clearance and when we want to check the normal body creatinine value we will make a simple simple formula for the calculations we will check first the body surface area and we will 100 multiply with the body surface area and divided with the 1.73 we will get the normal creatinine clearance for example if we have uh, if we want to calculate the normal surface area of the uh, patient or the person who have his body surface area is 1.87 meter square this one is 1.87 meter square we will write this 100 into 1.87 divided by 1.73 and the answer is 108 ml per minute this is the simplest concept to check the creatinine clearance value how just taking the body surface area in meter square if we have the different values of the body surface area for example 1.82 1.89 then we will write the word here 1.82 or 1.89 into 100 and then we will get the concentrations of the creatinine clearance which will be either in the normal range or in the other way in the different so this is the simplest way to calculate creatinine clearance by the uh, other uh, by simplest way another thing which we we will uh, use in our uh, studies that is inulin inulin also just like a uh, by product of the muscles and its normal range is a uh, normal clearance range is 125 ml per minute okay now we will move towards the how can we calculate the clearance uh, creatinine clearance from the different uh, conditions of the patients and also their uh, uses we will divide this portion uh, methods to calculate creatinine clearance we will divide into two portion one is direct method and other is indirect method in case of direct method we have the same uh, formula which we have already used in our 
previous concepts rate of change of concentrations of creatinine concentration with respect to time divided by the concentration of creatinine in systemic circulation uh, in our previous we write delta x u over delta t divided by creatinine concentration in systemic circulation concentration of creatinine in, in this is the direct method how we will use we will first take the rate and the delta x u is the mass of the creatinine excreted over time delta t and delta x u over delta t is the rate of creatinine excretion and if we uh, for example the rate of excretion of creatinine is 1.3 milligram per minute and serum creatinine concentration is 0 0.01 milligram per ml then the creatinine clearance is we can write here for example we have the 1.3 milligram per minute is the rate of creatinine excretion in urine and when we divide this with the creatinine concentration which is 0 0.01 milligram per ml then when we solve this this is 130 milligram milligram will be cancelled and the unit will be ml per minute and the answer is creatinine clearance is 130 ml per minute this is the direct method how we will perform we will take just the calculations uh, the amount of the creatinine in the urine and how we check the concentration of the creatinine in our urine first of all we will construct a standard curve of the different concentrations of creatinine and with the same method of the rate method i have already explained my in my previous classes uh, in the case of rate method we will create the some sequence of the rate of change of concentration with respect to time and we have already make a some lab demonstration and make a some a, a semi log graph in which we got the straight line between the rate and the time bar and in case of when we check the rate column that, that column was uh, in case of are method we have al almost six or seven column which we take the difference of the two concentrations two amounts which are passing through the urine and divided with the, uh, the the difference of the time delta x over delta t that will give us the rate and this when we divide this rate with the systemic clearance in our body which we have calculated by the simplest formula and then we will divide this and then when we can get the creatinine clearance by the direct method in this case we must obtain both creatinine excretion rate and the average serum creatinine concentration to measure the creatinine clearance accurately. Direct measurement technique is used for patients with the low less than uh, more than 1 milligram per deciliter or 10 milligram per liter values of serum creatinine. Means this formula is applicable for those patients where the our creatinine value is 10 milligram per liter and uh, means this cover creatinine concert, uh, serum creatinine concentration is, is it can be 10 milligram per liter more than 10 milligram per liter or our other unit in milligram per deciliter it's more than 1 milligram per deciliter if we found the milligram uh, 1 milligram per deciliter then this formula may be considered that the more accurate in the case of direct method Okay, another approach is our indirect method. In case of indirect method, we, we will divide the segments into, into uh, different areas and first of all, we will discuss with the adults and patients. children adults children and patients 
and in case of patients we will divide into obese patient and renally compromised patients are the patient with chronic renal failure patients with the chronic renal failure in case of adults we will divide this segment into male and female both will be having the different formula in case of children we will check according to its age and other is by height now we are just getting the concept of the calculations of creatinine clearance and we are on the way we can check the creatinine clearance by two general methods one are the direct method in which we just take the rate of change of concentration rate of change of amount of creatinine in urine with respect to time and divide with the systemic concentration of the creatinine we will get the creatinine clearance units will be same we have an example okay when we discuss this case here is indirect we will make a plenty of calculations especially when we use the adults in male and female and in case of children we will see the according to its their age and the by their heights and then we will move towards the patients because these are our conditions for our normal people and these conditions will be our patient patient's condition in case of obese in case of obese we will check lean body weight we will get the concept of lean body weight today also okay start with the children and uh, uh, with the adult in case of adult i will write here first in case of adult there are two different concepts two different ways to write this formula according to leon sharjal we have the different uh, style of the formula and according to snail jambaker we have the different so we will write both and we will find the similarity between both of the formulas in case of uh, uh, snail jambaker they write clearance creatinine clearance for the male is uh, its weight body weight into 140 minus h divided by 72 into creatinine concentration systemic concentration of creatinine in milligram percent or milligram per deciliter we will get the creatinine clearance in the case of adults and the same way when we move toward the, towards the uh, leon sharjal they have the formula for the clearance is uh, clearance 140 minus h plus weight into 72 over creatinine concentration and this this is the same way of the writing of the formula for the uh, for, uh, for the patients of the uh, they have just changed the word first clearance creatinine 140 minus h and multiply with the weight then divide divided with the 72 and uh, then multiply by the creatinine concentration in milligram per deciliter just the same way just they have they have put the weight here and then multiply with this for, for example when we want to calculate the creatinine concentration of a normal adult what the parameter we should know we should know its weight when we get the weight of the patient and h we will get the uh, uh, difference of the 140 minus the age multiply with the weight and then after getting the systemic uh, systemic creatinine concentration we will multiply with the 72 and then uh, solve all this parameter we will got the concentrations of the creatinine clearance in the adult male okay in case of adult female formula is same but this formula is only having the some multiplication factor do you remember in my start of my class i have written the well, the normal values of the male and female of the creatinine clearance that was 
120 plus minus 20 ml per minute in case of male and 108 plus minus 20 ml per minute in case of the female. The, in the case of female, creatinine clearance values are lesser and so the same formula will be applied for the creatinine clearance of the female but with the multiplication of a factor, that factor is 0 0.85, 0 0.85. Okay, we will write the same word. Creatinine clearance, this is for male, okay, and now we are moving toward for female. Then, in case of female, we will write the same formula weight into 140 minus age divided by 72 into systemic concentration of clearance in milligram per deciliter. But this whole formula will be multiplied with 0.85, and this is creatinine clearance for female. In case of male and female, because we have normal difference in the normal ranges of the male and female. So, when we got the same scenario, first of all, if we want to make calculate the creatinine clearance of a female and what the parameter we should know, we should know its, for example, its weight, its age and also if we have its body surface area, which I have already wrote in our, in my previous uh, slides. They, if, then we will have to multiply with the uh, with the 100 and divide with the 1.732 and then we will got the normal creatinine concentration. This normal creatinine concentration will be written here, okay, that, that will be assumed that systemic creatinine concentration and weight of the patient will be here, okay, and then take the difference of the age from the 140, then multiply, uh, solve all this formula and then multiply with the 0 0.85, we will get the creatinine clearance of a female. Okay. In case of creatinine clearance, uh, uh, children, we have, we have already explained the concept of the children because in case of children, we will uh, see these uh, two scenarios. One is the through its, her, uh, his, their ages and also by their height. So, when we move towards the children, we will also write in the two different ways. Okay, in case of children, we have two types. One is by their age and other is by their height. Height and uh, when we uh, write with the height, uh, age plus weight, yes, we can write the weight, age or the weight. Okay, in case of by their weight, we will have a simple formula for the children. In case of their ages from 0 to 1 year, 0 to one year, we will divide it into two, age from zero to one year and other is one to twenty year. In case of zero to one year, we will have checked its, their height first, 0.45 into height of the children in centimeter divided by creatinine concentration in systemic circulation in milligram per deciliter. Creatinine clearance for the children having age 0 to 1 year. And in case of 1 to 20, 0.55 multiply by height in centimeter divided by concentration of creatinine in milligram per deciliter, this will give us the creatinine clearance for the children having age 1 to 20 years. Okay, in case of children, what parameter we should have to, we should have to their height. If we have the height in centimeters, first of all we can calculate their height in feet and, and the inches 
and then we can convert into the centimeters. We will write the height of the children and multiply with the factor of 0.45 when the age of the children is point is less than one year. And if the age of the children is more than one year and less than 20 years, then we will have to write this formula with the same same say, uh, ratio but multiplying with the different factor. That factor is 0.55. Why we are multiplying with the uh, more or the greater number as compared to the previous one? Answer is very simple because in this case there are the some uh, small amount of the muscles byproducts like the creatinine. But in the in this case we have a large area, large number of the muscles and the they would have the large uh, muscle byproducts or the proteins or creatinine. So we will have to uh, write the, their maximum value especially when we multiply with the 0.55 and also multiply with the 0.45. Okay, when we discuss the case with the uh, patients, uh, children by their age, then we will move towards the uh, this is recording the uh, sorry, this is recording the height. This was according to height. And now when we move to, towards their ages, then we have a normal creatinine concentration uh, calculated by the simple formula in which 3.5 into age, plus 23.6 divided by systemic creatinine concentration that will give us the creatinine concentration, creatinine clearance, normal creatinine clearance in ml per minute per, per 1.73 meter or square per or ml per minute or 1.73 meter, its units will be ml per minute per 1.73 meter square. So now we will we have the another concept for the children, children case of ages and also children regarding their height. In case of height 0 to 1 year okay 1 to 20 years okay and in case of ages we will check the just age of the patient, age of the children then multiply with the 3.5 and then 23.6 and we will get the clearance, creatinine clearance in the children. If we have found the, some disturbed values in the creatinine clearance, these are actually the normal for, for the sake of calculation of the normal values and we have the, some different differences and the problem, then we will declare these are all basically belongs to the patients. And how we will treat, how we will make some uh, calculations from the patients then we will divide it into the two, one is obese patients and, and other are the our uh, chronic renal failure patients. In case of obese patient, we will check first the lean body weight. Lean body weight is the actually body weight uh, of the patient by excluding the extra fats. And we can check the lean body weight by the different formulas and uh, we have uh, different measurements for the lean body weights for formulas. In case of lean body weight, both books have the different uh, formula. For we will first check the according to Leon Chargel that, that, is, that belongs to very simple and we can check the lean body weight even uh, each and every patient and then assume that either he or she is in obese or the normal condition and the formula is very simple in case lean body weight for male we will we have to first get the actual weight of the patient and that would be 50 kg plus 2.3 kg 
for each inch over 5 feet for each inch over 5 feet very simple concept for example we have a patient and we want to check its lean body weight we will first take the weight of the patient if we have the weight of the patient check the first of all check the height of the patient height of the patient 55 feet for example we have a patient whose height is 5 feet and 7 inches so ideal body weight is 50 kg for the 5 feet and the remaining above the 5 feet the remaining inches will be multiplied with the 2.3 factor then we will add up both of these and we will get the lean body weight lean body weight can be calculated just by taking the height for example if we in the case of male we check the height of the patient is 5 feet and 7 inches so above 5 feet how many inches we have 7 then we will multiply this 7 with the 2.3 that is 7 or 7 plus 60 16.1 16.1 is this factor 16.1 plus 50 so 50 plus 16 is 66.1 kg is the lean body weight of the of that male lean body weight of the particular male can be calculated by just taking the height of the patient in feet and in inches so we know 12 inches is equal to 1 feet and if we have say in this case total feet is 12 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 7 67 inches his height is 67 inches so 67 inches when we convert into the feet and the height and the inches we will got the 60 and 7 60 is equal to 5 feet and 7 inches 7 will be multiplied with the factor of 2.3 then we will obtain the value of that value is 16.1 16 16.1 plus 50 is 66.1 is the lean body weight of that patient okay if we have the actual weight 80 kg with the patient from whose we are calculating the uh, deciding either he is or she is obese or not then we will take the actual weight of the patient and height of the patient by the height of the patient we will calculate the lean body weight and by taking the actual weight we will take the difference of both if there is a 20 percent uh, some books writes 20 percent some books write 30 percent if they have the 30 percent difference 30 percent then we will assume that these patients are obese for the declaration of the patient to be obese we will check the two parameters one is height of the patient which will give us the lean body weight another is weight of the patient which will give us the actual weight and will, will, which will give us the proportion how much high heavier how much the difference of this weight is if the difference is more than 30 then we will assume that this patient is now in the category of obese and our calculations for the creatinine clearance will be changed because now their metabolic processes different as compared to the normal patient okay what about in the female in the in the case of female we have the same formula uh, lean body weight of female then we will multiply this 50 will be changed with the 45.5 kg 45.5 kg plus 2.3 kg of each inch over 5 feet simple in this case for example we have a female patient and having height of 5 feet and 3 inches now what will happen 
5 feet and 3 inches. Female patient having 5 feet 3 inches. Now, when we want to calculate its lean body weight, then we will assume that this 5 feet is just like a 45.5 kg, okay. But in case of 3 inches, we will multiply this factor 3 with the 2.3. Answer is 6.9. So, 45.5 plus 6.9, that is 4, okay, 6 and 5, 11 and 12. And 52.5 kg is a lean body weight. Okay, if a patient has actual weight 80 kg or 70 kg, then we will check the ratio. Is there any relationship? Is there any ratio difference of the 20 percent or the 30 percent? Then we will assume that these patients are assumed to, to be obese. So, in case of lean body weight, we will have to check the uh, actual uh, ideal body weight we see basically and these uh, lean body weights are uh, helpful for the declaration of the patient in the case of obese or the, uh, or the normal. In case of women with the normal kidney functions have smaller creatinine clearance values than men which are approximately 80 to 85 percent of those in men with normal kidney functions. So, the, in case of female, we have a lesser value of the creatinine clearance as we have written in the started, start of our lecture and now we, according to their calculations, we are multiplying with the different factors. Okay, come towards our point, now we declare the patient is obese. Then how can we calculate their creatinine clearance? Okay, in case of obese patient, we will, we will once again divide into, into its two basic obese male and female. In case of obese male, there is Written in clearance 137 minus H into 0.285 into weight plus 12.1 into height into height divided with 51 into systemic clearance in milligram per deciliter, we will get the creatinine clearance of the obese male. First of all, we will decide either he is obese or not by taking the concept of lean body weight. And when we, we have the decision, okay, it's obese now, then we will move towards the creatinine clearance concept. How many parameters we should know? We should have to, his, her age, we have already known by when we are calculating the, uh, the lean body weight, his or her weight, and their height. Then we will assume their normal creatinine concentration. That is for the male we know 120 ml per minute uh, or we can calculate by its surface area and we multiply the 100 with the body surface area divided with the 1.73 which I have already written in the previous slides. So, we can check the creatinine clearance of the obese patient. Now, in this case obese patient we should be very careful by adjusting his or her dose because disturbance in the case of creatinine clearance will give us uh, information either we have to change the doses of the patient. Okay, what about the, uh, what about our, for the female, in case of female we have creatinine clearance 
that is 146 minus age try, try to be compare 0.287 into weight plus 974 into height and height divided by 60 into concentration of creatinine in milligram per deciliter. Same pattern of the formula, but with the change of their some values. Here is 137, now 146. 0 0.285, 0.287, 12.1, here 9.74. And here is in denominator there is 51, now 60. Why we have the 60? Because we have the maximum where, where more values in the denominator will give us the, the lesser value of the creatinine, creatinine profile. So creatinine concentration in milligram per deciliter and we will check the creatinine concentration in the obese patient, either male or the female. Our next is patients having the chronic renal failure. In this case, chronic renal failure, we will have to check their creatinine clearance into the different segments, different extraction ratios. We will write the word ER, extraction. Now we are, what we are studying? Patients. What type of the patient? Chronic renal patient or the renal, renal chronic patient in a way which uh, we having the different concepts of the different steps of cal calculations of extraction ratio ER. We will calculate ER1, ER2, ER3 and then the final clearance creatinine. So in case of chronic condition, we will check the three different segments because chronic means patient is suffering this disease for so long time. And for this, this sake of the long time, then we will divide, check the clearance value of the systemic clearance value of the patient in the different time frames at time 1, time 2, time 3, time 4, first, say first day, second day, fourth day, seventh day, these are the this different time frame, then the, that time will give us the information, the creatinine concentration in the patient body is uh, gradually getting the more concentration. So we will assume that our kidneys are not working properly and the patient uh, can be considered as a chronic, fake, uh, chronic kidney failure patient. So we will divide this ER1, ER2 and ER3. How can we check the ER1? ER1 will be calculated by a simple formula of the lean body weight of the patient multiplied by 29.3 and minus 0.203 into age in years. First ER, ER1. This ER1 will give us, okay, what the parameter we need? Lean body weight. We have already discussed in the, our previous uh, slides. In case lean body weight, we will calculate and age, we will multiply this point T or 2 or 3, then we will get the ER1, extraction ratio 1. In case of ER2, that ER2 is ER1 into 1.035 minus 0 0.0337 into systemic concentration average. Average means we will take the concentrations of the systemic clearance, creatine clearance, creatine, creatine concentration systemically, two or three, and then get the average. Lean body weight and uh, in milligram per deciliter, milligram per deciliter, simple one. First of all, we will check the ER1, okay. The ER1, ER1 value will be used for the calculation of ER2. And in case of ER3, ER3, the current excretion rate of the creatinine 
corrected for the non steady state conditions step 3 can be skipped if renal function is stable if we see the renal function is stable then we we can uh, skip the this er3 but when we want to calculate this er3 we will check its er2 minus 4 into lean body weight into systemic concentration of creatinine concentration 1 minus systemic creatinine concentration 2 divided by t1 minus t2 remember this step can be skipped if we have if we found these both values are same systemic creatinine concentration at time t1 say it's 30 40 50 60 and same we have the uh, say it's 8 9 10 mg per deciliter when we assume that in case of uh, mg per liter then 30 for 50 uh, more than this in case of creatinine second is the same and uh, we have the same values then we will not found this er3 but if we have the difference in the in the both values then we will calculate the extraction ratio 3 and the last one is our calculation for the uh, clearance of the patients having the uh, compromised kidneys er3 divided by 14.4 minus systemic creatinine concentration in milligram per deciliter this systemic creatinine concentration is actually maybe the systemic creatinine concentration of two this one second one which have which we from which we are getting this the this value or another case this may be this concentration is systemic concentration of creatinine is average concentration of creatinine this average can be measured systemic creatinine concentration average can be measured by taking the systemic creatinine concentration plus 1 plus systemic creatinine concentration 2 divided by 2 this one last one last one is the last observed systemic concentration maybe are the average if we have the constant value if we have the, the if the serum concentration is uh, rising then we will check this one we write the they, this two value is here then we will check the creatinine clearance and if this is the constant then we will take the average first and then write the uh, this uh, right here for the sake of calculations of this one so this will give us the concept of uh, renal clearance uh, renal creatinine clearance uh, from from where we have started we have started the definition of creatinine creatinine is a by product of the muscles which is actually protein which is getting free from the plasma uh, from uh, our plasma is getting free from the creatinine through the kidneys and so this concept is creatinine clearance and its units is ml per minute and the concentration of creatinine which is present in our blood in the in the systemic circulation is measured in milligram milligram per liter milligram per deciliter and same milligram percent and we we have the taken the same ranges then we assume that okay there are the plenty of methods to calculate the creatinine clearance and we divide this these approaches into the two main segments one is the direct and the other is an indirect in case of direct method we have used the same formula which we have studied in the clearance concept dividing the rate of change of amount of drug in the uh, amount of creatinine in, in the urine with respect to time with the systemic creatinine concentration and another is the indirect method indirect method was divided into the segment wise we, where we studied first adults and then we adult divided the adults into two male and female then taking their formula and same case we move towards the children their height their age and their weight formulas and getting uh, going towards the patients then we will check the 
creatinine clearance in the patients of the obese. First, we check the lean body weight. And uh, this lean body weight will be assumed that, okay, the patient is abused, uh, obese or not. And then we will check the, their creatinine concentration, creatinine clearance in the obese patients, then uh, chronic kidney, chronic uh, failure patients, uh, the chronic renal patients, then we check. And the, these are the actually methods to measure. In our next class, we will check how the nomogram is used and how the parameters are getting changed with the changing in the creatinine and how we adjust the dose of the drug when we check, okay, is there, is there is some change in the creatinine clearance, so then we will have to move towards their changes. If you have any question, then you may ask me through your uh, comments and also if, uh, through my WhatsApp group. Thank you very much.